Rarely someone comes in and they're really not feeling well and, and a whole set of everything that should be done is done, right? Labs, physical examination, history, imaging, right? And, and you still just don't know, right? I mean, sometimes that can happen, but it's very rare. And the same should apply here, that if we're examining a self, right, and we're looking for the components out of which that self comes, right, then we should be able to understand well enough to go back to the components of self and to make change so that the self is in a better place, right? And, and that self can then be empowered, can feel humility, right? Can then come at life through the altruism and gratitude that we seek. Because again, you show me someone who's coming at life through altruism and gratitude and is not happy with their life, and you'll be showing me something I've never seen before, something entirely new. So if we want to get there, we want to know how to get there. And there are ways, as there should be, that parallel physical health that aren't mysterious that we can come at to make understanding and change. I'm wondering about the role of anxiety in all of this. The reason I ask about anxiety is that you said that so much of character structure is uh, determined by a set of predispositions and potentialities. Mm -hmm. And earlier we were talking about the example of either being afraid or unafraid in particular environments or feeling like we can walk into a classroom and learn or whether or not we're overly concerned about what people think about us or both, right? It could be a mix. 